Hey guys, how's it going today? We are gonna be doing a Repti Lynx unboxing. I have my shipment in right over there. You're gonna see from the start, haven't even touched the box. Well, I have, I lied. But that's all I did. This is my second time ordering from Repti Lynx, and I'll talk a little bit about that before I open this up. So the first time around, I ordered about $135 worth, and I had to pay shipping for that. I did a breakdown of cost to feed my Tegu that $135 worth of Repti Links on my Tegu cost video and it broke down to eight dollars a week a lot of people think that Repti Links is super expensive and it's really not that's probably what I spend at the minimum anyway weekly without Repti Links but yes today we're going to be unboxing two hundred dollars plus worth of Repti Links and we're even going to do a little bit of feeding with crap later on okay so we'll go in and then we'll unbox it so you got me there right yeah I didn't know we spent two hundred dollars <laughs> okay, so I opened up the box just by opening up the tape, and we'll go ahead and we'll check what's inside. We got some cool stickers here, it looks like. Olivia, these are stickers, right? Yes, those are indeed stickers. Okay, we got some cool stickers there. They weren't there before. And then we got the inside of the package, which I hope you guys can see. And I believe this is the invoice. I got mixture of insect and rabbit plus fruits and veggies i got quail eggs mixed in i got the mega blend i got a lot of that quail rabbit fruits veggies chicken rabbit fruits veggies i think that's all the mixes i got so that will be in here and they have it very insulated can you see this olivia yes so it's very, very insulated. insulated i believe it's one day shipping as well uh, since this is stuff that can be great, I probably should not have touched that because it's dry ice. <laughs> okay, so I got out the dry ice and now let's go and find the Repti Links, which is under this little sheet. I don't know what those are called. I don't know words for anything nowadays, but that separates the dry ice from the Repti Links. And now here are all the Repti Links and they are labeled. Okay, so I'll pull them out one by one. They are all 25G sized Repti Links, 25 grams. I don't know why I said G, but let's pull them out. Like I said, they are all labeled. They are all vacuum sealed, which is really nice. It really preserves them until you open them. And they have instructions on their website about how to kind of reseal them to make them last longer if you do open them, which is really good. I'll put their website in the description. So right here we have insect and rabbit plus fruits and veggies and they have egg mixed in. That's labeled there. I usually rip this off and then put it, when, after I open it obviously, and then I'll put it in their way they tell you, like I said before, to keep it preserved in your freezer. But I put the label back in with it just so I know what it is when I go and grab it out. So that's a trick you can do is just after you rip this off, you can just put it in with the Repulinx so you know what Repulinx they are because it's hard to distinguish between this and this and they're completely different things I think. No, of course I pulled the same one. So those are the insect plus rabbit ones. I have here more insect plus rabbit. Did I order really that many of insect plus rabbit? I don't even remember. I gotta look at my invoice. More insect plus rabbit? I don't think I ordered this many. I definitely did. Mega blend, here we go. So mega blend is what people get most often than not. This just mixes pretty much almost, I think, all their stuff into one link, not just select meats and such like that. So mega blend is definitely their more popular. Here's another mega blend. And I believe there's more, another mega blend in here. So let's see, what else did I say I had? More mega blend. And we have chicken and rabbit here. So that's a different one. We got chicken and rabbit again. I like how they're all organized in here, so I know what I'm pulling out. Here's quail and rabbit, so that's something else. And I believe this is another quail and rabbit. Yeah, so I got two chicken rabbit, two quail rabbit, three or five, four mega blend, and then four insects and the rabbit. I got a lot of the insect one because I don't include a lot of inverts in Fraps Diet, and inverts are actually really good for tegus. Just to show the bottom of the packaging, like I said, it's all insulated, so that dry ice in there, it's all insulated, all good. Definitely good packaging. Some of the best I've seen out of reptile companies. Okay, so I loaded all the Repti Links in my freezer. It's best to push them towards the back if you can. Just make sure your freezer is cold enough, but these are all the sealable ones. Now, Olivia, if you want to turn over here, I'm going to open up the Mega Blend for FRAP today, and I'll show you guys how I open it up and store it, and then we'll feed them to FRAP. 
Okay, so this is how I go about opening up the Reptilinx. Like I said, there's kind of the seal right there, so that's where I sort of aim to cut when I go and open them up. So I just kind of do this, and once you get it started, you could just rip it off, and that works fine. Just don't go too low because you do kind of want to fold it over when you're storing. Struggled a little bit there. And this is the part where it has the label that I just put in with the Reptilinks when I store them, just so I remember what I'm storing there. So in here, we got our 10 links, and I feed two per time twice a week. A lot of people overfeed these, and then that's where they think they're really expensive. Where for 25G links, you only need to feed two of them per feeding, and I do it twice a week. So that's all he needs. Now, in terms of storing them, I fold this over like this, and then I get a container, just take the lid off, and then the folded over Repti links I just put in there, put the label on top, and this is sort of what they recommend, like I said, on their website in terms of storing. You want to try to fold it over, seal it a little bit this way, and then put it in a container and seal that container. So I do that, and that usually will leave it preserved for a good amount of time, enough time to feed all of these off, and you could even see the label through that. Okay, so then I take the container, I'll just put that in with the rest of the links on the links dedicated shelf. So there's a couple ways you can defrost these links. They actually defrost very quickly, which I like. One way to do them is just to leave them out and let them defrost in your house somewhere, or you can put them outside if it's a little warm. It's getting a little chilly out there though here, so I don't think they'll defrost as fast. The quickest way is just to hold them in your hands like this, and they'll defrost super quickly, probably within five minutes. It works really well just doing this. So Olivia wanted me to tell you guys to make sure if you put it outside, you don't leave it out there long enough for the meat to cook inside of that, because apparently that's a thing she does and needed to remind me of. I don't do it, it's like a thing that happened. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. One thing you definitely don't want to do additionally besides to cook meat, Olivia, is you don't want to rinse it underwater. There is some calcium, I believe, or some coating on the outer casing that's good for the tegus that you don't want to wash off. So putting them underwater and in water to defrost, that's not recommended. Again, all of this is information all the Repti Link site, so I would check that out in the description. Okay guys, so I'm going to feed these Repti Links to Frap. Frap is already very much enticed. They are fully defrosted. I'm going to put Frap up here, and then he can eat his Repti Links. Oh, come on Frap. Let's put you up there. Sorry, that was a little uncomfortable. We'll figure these right out, but he's adapted very well to Repti Links. He likes them a lot. So it's really fun watching him. That was actually pretty good. He's usually not that great at eating them. <laughs> Sometimes he grabs them by the little thing on the end and doesn't really uh, doesn't really get the full thing. So here you go, Frap. Oh, you missed it. Here you go. Okay, Frap, there you go. Yeah, so he loves these. He definitely adapted to it really well. It goes down the throat very quick and very smooth. So for him who has little bit of a mouth issue. It's easy for him to eat. It's not troublesome. So he really enjoys it. I think he enjoys the mix. I think he enjoys the taste of it. So Frap is a fan. I think Frap is uh, actually still looking for more. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for Frap. But what we'll do is I'll give my final thoughts on Repti Links and what I recommend and kind of my overall conclusion of them. But I think you can guarantee Frap he's good on them. Okay guys, so I'm going to give my final thoughts on Repti Links besides Fraps. We're going to cover five categories that's going to be shipping, selection, customer service, usability, and price, and then just my overall satisfaction. For shipping overall, it was really good. I didn't have any problems with it. You get free shipping over $200, so if you buy in bulk, it's even better. I believe it's mostly overnight, or maybe it's two days, but you get it pretty quick, and it ships with dry ice, so everything comes very well packaged and frozen. Some of the packages for the dry ice were open though, so I had a little trouble getting the dry ice out. That was maybe a one-time thing though, because that didn't happen to me the first time. Overall though, I have to say nine out of 10 for shipping. In terms of their selection, there's a wide range of different meats. I wrote them down because I knew I wouldn't remember them. They have iguana, chicken, rabbit, quail, insects, fowl, and frog. Now you can mix these too. There's sometimes you could put insects with rabbit 
and you can mix some of them together. There's also the Mega Blend, which I believe throws all those meats in together with some fruits, veggies, and other stuff. So you can mix and match there. There's the opportunity for that, which is really cool. There's a lot of customization. You could also mix in a dozen quail eggs to the mix of your Recti Links, which is another amazing option. You could do a lot with different mix and matches. So it's really cool. You could get a lot of different nutrition options in there. I think that's almost 10 out of 10. They also offer some whole prey items on their site. I don't see them in stock as much. Hopefully they'll be in stock soon because I've always looked to get some when I've ordered them. But if you're interested in whole prey and want to get it from the same source, same packaging, same shipment, that's on their website too. Customer service. I think the number one thing Reptilinks does best is their customer service across everything. Whenever you go to their site, immediately a chat window pops up and you could ask them directly about questions, about sizing. They have so many tutorials and videos on there. If you have any questions, I think you'll get an answer from them without even accessing the chat. Additionally, you get some customized emails from them, which is kind of cool if you're into that and feeling like an individual. When I ordered a second time, I got sort of a specialized email saying, hey, thanks for buying a second time here. It really means a lot that you came back. And it's just a really cool thing. And they inform me about when they're making your links, when they're about to ship out. Customer service is very undervalued in reptiles and with breeders, so I appreciate that a lot. Ultimately, they're very accessible and open about their operation, and I think that gets a lot of bonus points, 12 out of 10 for this category. Next, let's move on to usability and the feasibility of it. To me, it's very feasible. It's very easy how to go about getting them. There's no prep work. You really just store them in your freezer after you unbox them and then open them, reseal them a little bit. Even if you don't reseal them properly, they're probably gonna stay fine until you use them unless you go like a whole year without feeding them. They can last really long though if you do store them how they recommend though. They thaw really quickly. It doesn't take a whole day to get the meat defrosted, which takes a while when I'm doing my own blend. And then you just kind of put them in there. And as long as your reptile, your tegu in this case for me, responds to them well, I think it's 10 out of 10. Maybe your tegu doesn't like it. That might knock off a couple points. But for me, 10 out of 10 it saves me a lot of time and it's worth the price. Speaking of pricing and moving on to our last individual category, I broke this down in a separate video where I was talking about the cost of tegus. And for me, I was able to feed $135 worth of Repti Links over a four month period. And it broke down to about $8 a week where I do two feedings of 25G Links each feeding. It really is cost effective in my mind. A lot of people say it's expensive and maybe that's expensive to you, but I definitely spend at least $8 per week using other sources of feeding, if not RepiLinks. And that $135 included shipping. Like I said, if you get over 200, then you don't have to pay shipping. And that's probably even less than $8 a week with that. My overall rating is easily probably a 10 out of 10, at least for my situation. I really think the ultimate decider, at least for you guys is whether your reptile responds well to Repti Links or not. Because I think that's kind of the deciding factor in what I see from other people. If they respond well, I think it's cost effective. I think it's wonderful. I think it's easy to use. I love the people over at Repti Links. They're very nice and kind and helpful. I just don't see any side of them that I don't like and everything has gone well thus far. Okay guys, a quick girlfriend interruption again. I just wanna let you guys know that this was not a paid sponsorship, not sponsorship in any regards. I just really love RepiLinks as a product. And if they do wanna sponsor me, maybe they should. But ultimately, I paid for this myself. They probably didn't even know I was getting this or ordered this, so this has no connection to them whatsoever. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. Let me know what your thoughts on RepiLinks is. Have you tried RepiLinks before? Are you gonna try it now? Let me know about your experience. It's a great company. I love shouting out great companies. Couple quick announcements. I wanna shout out the patrons. We got Darian J, Kat and Rick, the Hans Bioactive Reptiles, Brian B, Herb M, Angela L, David T, and Smooth Cat. I really appreciate your support. You guys too can be patrons for as little as a dollar a month. Check the top right for more information. Interested in some cool reptile merch? We got four different designs. Wearing Tongue Out Tuesday right now. Earlier, I was wearing the Salads for Chumps though. All those designs are to the left of my head, right at your screen. Check them out in the Teespring link in the description below. So that wraps up this video, guys. Let me know again your thoughts on Repu Links. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.